Welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading, part two of this Tika T3X CTR in the 308 cartridge. So in part one, the 168 grain Hornady A Max bullets actually didn't perform that well in my opinion. And I think I'm gonna fall back to these more inexpensive 168 grain Hornady boat tail hull point match bullets which you know kind of goes against the grain you'd think the more expensive amax bullets would perform better but just because a bullet doesn't perform well in that particular rifle doesn't mean it's a bad rifle uh, sometimes you just need to hunt down a bullet that uh, works well with that barrel so enough of the bs let's run these rounds out to the 100 yard range and run a quick six by five Well, you'll find out that um, when you go to a different bullet or low development round, uh, that your point of impact will definitely change. And that's exactly what happened here, going from the 168 AMAX to um, the 168 bolt tail hollow points. And so I had to readjust my scope. But, um, you know, for some really cheap bullets, uh, especially like this one here, these are five bu bullets here five bullets uh, here uh, well pretty much four bullets in a bullet hole here um, I'd say that's pretty damn good so let's run this back So this is definitely not my best uh, 6x5, uh, but it's a definite improvement over the 168 grain AMAX 6x5 in part one. Um, and this is what I'm kind of going for, inexpensive reloads with an inexpensive rifle that your average consumer uh, can buy. So um, with that said, stay tuned to part three uh, we're going to run this Tika out to the 300 yard mark and run a 6.55 uh, and see how she performs. Take it easy.